also known in the ancient world as Naissus. This is one of the most historically important cities in Serbia. It's the third largest city in the country and it's located in the southern region. If you didn't know, Constantine the Great was born in this city as well as three other emperors. Two were Roman and one was Byzantine. This is my guide Marko Djordjevic. He's going to be showing us around for the next 48 hours. Now let's go explore Niche. Let's do it. Let's do it. Now we're inside Niche Fortress. This fortress was built by the Romans in the first century as a military base and then eventually became a city. It went through many hands, including the Huns, Byzantines, Serbs, Ottomans, and then back to Serbs. Now Marco, tell me where we are right now, what's behind us, and a little bit about the fortress. Behind us is a collection of Roman tombstones, 2,000 years old, the youngest is 15 centuries old, and throughout the fortress we can find lots of monuments from different periods of history pre-roman roman byzantine serbian and ottoman fortress is public park so it is free entrance and everyone can enjoy this park and beautiful monuments inside of it we're going to enter the german concentration camp where the germans during the second world war kept over 30,000 serbs and jews and over 12,000 were executed nearby on the buben hill there were between 2,000 and 2,500 prisoners here at any given time. They were controlled by 20 German guards. And behind me, we have the names of 105 prisoners who managed to escape on February 12, 1942. This was the first mass escape of any concentration camp during World War II. In this room, actually, the mass escape was organized in 12 February 1942. And here you can see the straw, on similar straw they used to sleep here. They had only one bucket to go to bathroom. Germans kept here sometimes 200, sometimes even 300 people. They were here like sardines, back like sardines. This was an authentic table where they used to tie the prisoners and to beat them. On the walls you can see original inscriptions, uh, names of prisoners, uh, dates when they were arrested. Behind me is the building where officially First World War started. Niš was wartime capital of Serbia during the First World War and this was seat of the government. July 28th, Serbian government received the telegram from the Habsburg monarchy, the official declaration of war. We are about to enter this chapel behind us and inside that chapel is the Skull Tower. This tower is famous because the Ottomans built it over 200 years ago after they defeated the Serbs in a battle. They used over 952 skulls from Serbian corpses and the reason why they built the tower was to scare the Christians in the area. Now Marco, how did it survive? For the Turkish population, for the Muslim population, it was symbol of dominance over the Serbs, over the Christians. And for the Serbs, it was symbol of fight for freedom. So for every religious and ethnic group, it is some kind of symbol. So because of that, it survived for so many years. And after the liberation from the Ottoman Empire, the Serbian King Milan Obrenović and his son, King Alexander Obrenović, they built the chapel and is protected now. This is the archaeological hall of Niš. They found over 40,000 artifacts dating back to the Roman period and here in the archaeological hall we can only see a fraction of them. And right here we have a replica of a head of Constantine the Great. It was found when they were building a bridge to go to the fortress and with it they also found a treasure. <laughs> 